being sharp, having that clarity of mind ready to go is a huge part of my job, all right? Um, as a police officer, one of the most important things is, especially when you have an early shift, man, to get that uh, groggy eyes completely out because anything can happen. All right, clarity of mind is supremely important in the warrior lifestyle. It gives you the ability to see things around you clearly, to understand yourself, to forge ahead. Why? Because you may be in a dark tunnel, but guess what? You have the ability with clarity of mind to see the light in the other side of the tunnel. You're able to make quicker decisions, to be creative on the fly, and more importantly, you're able to calm yourself down when things start going nuts, right? You wanna be able to be that center of that hurricane when shit starts popping off, right? So do your best to start learning how to clear your mind. And you do that by breathing, by meditation, by just self-reflection. It works, trust me. One of the things that I love to do is come to the beach really early, right? Before sunrise, to be able to see the sunrise and that powerful sun coming up, man, it just energizes you. It literally gives you the strength, the power to beat the shit out of the day. Like really, man, if you can just energize yourself and see the sun coming up in the morning, it's just unbelievable. Really a great experience. I think most people really should take a look at their lives, right? And see exactly where they are. A lot of times when we're, when we're out here in the real world, right? In the early morning in the beach, it gives you a sense of connection with earth, right? It gives you a sense of connection with mother nature. So Bruce Lee was a mentor to me. I mean, basically I've read every book that he's written and not only that, every book that's been pretty much written about him. Everything that I believe in my philosophy of life really comes from him, a lot of it. Um, I've, I believe that you can apply Bruce Lee's philosophy of life to your life right now with the study of other warrior cultures and you bring that all together, that's, this is what it's all about, right? Living, right? Living with a charged up feeling, that zest, that vitality, right? That sense of forward movement. My brother, you gotta put this into your life, right? You gotta literally ignite that fire in every aspect of your life, all right? Use this philosophy, use this clarity of mind so you can be aware of your surroundings, aware of yourself. Trust me, it'll change you. So whatever philosophy that you live by, I would highly recommend that somewhere along that philosophy, it has the ability to change your mind, right? To change that mindset, to be able to perceive life a little bit different. Now, I believe meditation goes a long way. I believe breathing and connecting with who you are and especially the environment around you, right? Mother nature, it's so important. Now, a lot of guys look at it like, hey, you know what? I eat nails for breakfast, right? Or I'm too cool for that. Let me tell you something, all right? The best fighters, the best martial artist, okay, of our time, all right, and we, we can go back hundreds and hundreds of years ago, look at the samurai, okay, when they did that internal reflection, when they literally deployed that mindset, it came from tranquility of heart, it came from clarity of mind, okay, read hundreds and hundreds of books that attest that. So what I need you to think about is this, all right, in your life, when everything is around you is spinning, all right, are you that rock? Are you that center? Are you that eye of the hurricane? Or are you the person that's getting caught up in all the bullshit? If you're the person that's getting caught up, you need to start changing your mindset now. All right, so one of the most important things in my life is reading. I have well over a thousand books in my library, and I started reading really at a very young age. Um, I can remember being 13, 14 years old, um, and going out there and purchasing books and looking forward, all right, to going to bed and just, 
an hour or so before just laying there and reading and absorbing. Um, also, magazines were big back in the uh, 70s and, and 80s. Um, I love that. I mean, anything that had to do with the warrior mind, with martial arts, I would absorb it. These are um, five books here. And one of my favorite things also to, to say that was going to old bookstores. I miss that um, because I used to spend hours upon hours in these bookstores trying to find a gem. Um, so I found literally, if, I, if you look at this, The Way of Zen by Alan Watts, I mean, you can see here that the $1.95, I found this book years and years ago. It was printed, um, let's see, in 1957. There's a 1957 copy. Um, <laughs> I love it. I mean, I've read this book probably about literally 10 times. Um, the Way of Zen. While we're on the subject of clarity of mind, uh, Zen Buddhism uh, was something that I studied for a very long time. Um, however, literally I was up to become ordained. Um, problem was that I felt going any deeper into that uh, was going to push me away from my Christianity, which I didn't want. I wanted to remain a Christian, but practice um, Sazen, uh, which was the, the, the sitting part of it and also absorb a lot of the philosophy which I implement in everything I do in my life here. My teachings, my martial arts, my business world, the way that I think, um, especially here that I bring to the man of war. So much is from that study. All right, so The Way of Zen, Alan Watts, great book. Probably still one of my most read books, one of my favorites here, okay, um, is the Zen Way to the Martial Arts. Um, this book has been with me for, I don't even know how long, but I've read it over and over. It's almost like yearly I reread this for sure. Um, uh, it's by Taizen Deshimuro. And um, I can tell you that if you read this book, you'll understand uh, a great balance between violence and clarity of mind and having that tranquility of spirit. Uh, Kodo, The Ancient Ways, there's a great book. Um, I go here and I absorb it because there's so many great quotes here, man. So many great quotes. Love this book. Highly recommend it. It's called Kodo, The uh, Ancient Ways. Warrior Within, when this book came out, um, I was on it. I mean, I was on it. This is, uh, I've read this book again at least uh, half a dozen times or more. Um, such a great book. I live, uh, oh, I live literally by so much of Bruce Lee's philosophy. He was my mentor growing up uh, in the late 70s and 80s. I mean, uh, I can go back now, I get goosebumps, uh, you know, when I think about myself, you know, on a couch or in bed, listening to um, tapes or records and at the same time reading. It's one of my favorite things to do, man. Um, and then the uh, Sword of No Sword. Um, this is a great uh, biography, a great insight uh, until into really a, a master warrior here. Um, you know, Teshu was a, a warrior in all facets. A very strong book, something that I would highly recommend uh, for you to read. Um, these are, you know, and I have many other ones, but these are literally my top five books when we talk about clarity of mind and being able to center yourself. Um, I got a lot out of these books for sure, and also a lot of philosophy behind it. All right. Bring that into your life. Give that a try. All right. So if you're interested in the mindset, the philosophies, the concepts, the strategies of warrior cultures of old, and we infuse a lot of this samurai Zen uh, into our program, uh, look out for something that we have on the pipeline here. It's called the Warrior Development Academy. It's an online masterclass that will teach you so much. I mean, I got to tell you that as we film it and we progress our shooting, um, it, it's just so vast, a bunch of modules, a bunch of different information, inside looks, special podcasts, um, very private interviews uh, with different warriors from really all walks of life. I think you're going to love this program. More importantly, what I want you to know is this, all right, when we embed the warrior culture into a man's life, the mindset the philosophy, 
the strategies. It literally changes them. It gives them a different perspective in life. It's not something that you go and just learn, hey, one, two, three, no. It's a life. It's inbred. It's literally in your soul, in your spirit. It changes you and it forges you. This is a very unique program. I'm going to tell you straight up. Um, I believe we are opening a path that not many have been able to walk and to be able to accomplish what we are accomplishing now. So stay tuned, brother. I think you're going to love it. Hey, guys, if you are enjoying this vlog, you're getting something out of it, please do me a favor, share it with someone that may get something out of it. Also, subscribe, right? Ignite that bell. That way you get informed every single time that we have a vlog. And more importantly, all right, what I want you to do is drop some comments below, all right? Maybe some subjects that you may be interested in. Until then, Owari. Oh,